pictures really stop you in your tracks. Uh, absolutely horrific images as the scene was clearly left with the first responders that brought him to the local hospital there. Yeah, and, and apologies, I missed that part of the Sheriff's Department uh, press release. It does say that he was the driver and sole occupant of the vehicle. Uh, you can see that it, it, it looks like what happened was they took out the front windshield of the car to extricate him that way using the jaws of life. And, and, and again, when you, when you have a, a crash like this, the, the roof is compacted and the front of the car is shoved back. So you can imagine that there would likely be, have been uh, some entrapment of his lower extremities. Uh, in that car, which uh, for a golfer is, is, is going to potentially be for very, anyone. very bad news. Uh, you know, for anybody, it would be, of course, but uh, particularly for somebody who uh, you know, makes their living off the lower body the way that a, uh, a golfer does. Um, for so many that are weighing in and, and hearing this news just now that Tiger Woods was injured in a car crash there, uh, the Los Angeles sheriff just reporting, John, uh, we're starting to see some reaction pour in, including lawmakers uh, who are just now seeing the news. Uh, Lee Zeldin from New York, prayers for Tiger Woods, who's been injured in a single vehicle rollover in California. Uh, prayers are being offered by many, as you can imagine. This is taking over the social media atmosphere right now with so many weighing in and wishing him the absolute best. You know, here was a guy who fought back from, you know, this, the situation from a decade ago that nearly torpedoed his career, uh, then experienced those terrible back problems, as Matt Finn was saying, and now has you know, built himself back up uh, into a contender, was winning tournaments again, was challenging uh, in majors, uh, and, and now this. Uh, and, you know, the, you, ha you have to feel for him because he went through so much in terms of the back problems, the surgeries, the rehabilitation. There you see some recent pictures of Tiger, the much more bulked up Tiger than we had seen in the past with a brand new swing. And and now John, we've his got an future update. uncertain as he is in the hospital, uh, apparently undergoing surgery. Tiger's agent, Mark Steinberg, um, has just put out a statement saying that Tiger has suffered, quote, multiple leg injuries and is currently in surgery. Sportscaster Jim Gray joining us on the breaking news. Jim, we just learned this now from Steinberg that he is he's injured in multiple places in his leg and he's currently in surgery. Your thoughts at this time? Well, it's tragic to hear this. Yes. It's it's tragic to hear this and uh, it's just an awful circumstance and uh, I'm just listening to the details that you all are giving and catching up on this but uh, I'm speechless really. Yeah. Um, it's, it's it's quite sad to uh, think of everything that Tiger has gone through, <clears throat> the joy that he has brought to all of us uh, in the golf world uh, and to sports and to, uh, to hear this is just uh, it's shocking. You know, Jim, I hear it in your voice. And I was, I covered uh, very <clears throat> closely his, his demise, as you remember, so many years ago um, when everything happened with his wife and the extramarital affairs, how greatly that affected his family. And at that time, so many who almost wished him ill will based on what we learned. And then there was this major route for him to come back, and he did. And I mean, the crowds gathered around all the golf courses that he ever sets foot on. They, the, the golfers, they love him. Um, I mean, he brought back the sport of golf, and he's, he's made a major comeback that he's brought so many fans along with him. So as you can imagine, there's an outpouring of support as we learn these details. Well, Sandra, you know, he, he had last played with his son, Charlie, uh, yeah. in the father and son tournament, uh, or, or the relatives. Uh, I don't know exactly what they uh, call the tournament, uh, but uh, there was so much joy to see him out there with Charlie. Uh, and he was, uh, you know, a proud papa, and, and you could see just all the exuberance that he had. And, and he was trying to shield his young son as well so that this media onslaught would not uh, somehow overtake uh, uh, him. Uh, the way it overtook Tiger as a youngster uh, and, and what has followed. And so in his last public appearance uh, on a golf course, uh, we saw this tremendous joy. And he had that joy when he won the 2019 Masters. Yeah. Uh, and we saw people finally being able to share in that joy with him as opposed to being, you know, at a distance and to have completed that comeback. Um, to have this now, he was at Riviera just a couple of days ago presenting the yeah. trophy uh, to, to uh, Homa. 
uh, who had won the tournament, uh, Tiger unable to play because of the surgery, uh, but he looked in good spirits and uh, came on the air with Jim Nance uh, on the CBS telecast. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see about these surgeries. And, uh, and Jim, it's John Roberts. Um, in, in terms of the surgery that he just recently had, did it look like he was going to be able to get back into a full season of play this year? Well, he indicated in that interview with Jim Nance that he wasn't sure that he was going to have to take it day by day and, and see mm -hmm. what happened. In fact, he cast some doubt on that, John, uh, that he would be able to play in Augusta. And, of course, he can win at Augusta uh, any time, regardless of his form, because he's so familiar with the course, having won there so much sure. uh, and being a legend there. But uh, he, he had cast doubt as to whether or not, you know, he was going to be able to play in the beginning of April. Not the first car crash he's been in. Of course, there was the car crash in his SUV in 2009 uh, at his home in Florida. Um, he's 45 years old. He was in the area for his annual Genesis Invitational Golf Tournament, Jim, at the Riviera Country Club in the Pacific Palisades. Uh, he had met with and taken photo with, photos with stars over the weekend. David Spade, Dwayne Wade, and others announced his recent back surgery. Uh, what we still don't know at this hour, what caused this accident, Jim, we can only lean on the details from the sheriff's office. And, of course, what we just heard from his agent. We await to hear more on his condition. As we know, he's in the hospital now, Tiger Woods. He was rescued with the jaws of life. He sustained multiple leg injuries, and his, his agent just a few moments ago confirming that he is in surgery, Jim. You know, he's had numerous surgeries, uh, knee surgeries, uh, numerous back surgeries, uh, neck. Uh, he, is, he has been, you know, uh, under uh, the knife uh, from surgery, all of these inflicted, obviously, uh, by his playing uh, and what the wear and tear has taken on him. Uh, none from, uh, obviously, uh, any kind of an impact of, a, of an auto crash. So this is a whole different type of thing uh, than what he has had to endure for what has been his physical ailments that have been uh, because of his play and because of his uh, participation in sports over all of these years. And when you swing a golf club like he has uh, since he's been three or four years old, uh, virtually every day of his life that he was physically able, that wear and tear takes its toll, but nothing quite like this. And, and we just don't know you know exactly from Mark Steinberg uh, what this type of surgery is, but uh, uh, none of the things that he has uh, uh, undergone surgery for before, I'm sure, uh, it was, is nothing like this to repair his knee uh, or to uh, fix his back. You know, many, 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 many times, Jim, and not not to speculate on the injuries, but many, many times when you're in surgery for a leg injury, it's because of a break. Uh, I broke my lower left tibia back in 2002, and, and it was a long recovery. Uh, it, it took at least a number of months. And again, we don't know the extent of his injuries other than that he's in surgery for multiple leg injuries. Uh, so depending on the extent of his injuries, the, the back may be the least of his problems, at least in the immediate future.